another ordinary day for Detective James turned extraordinary with a phone call. His morning routine, usually as predictable as clockwork, was disrupted by news of a theft at the prestigious Winston Gallery. James was no stranger to complexity, his mind a labyrinth of solved cases, each one adding another layer to his growing reputation. This was his domain, his battlefield, where he pitted his wits against the cunning and deceit of those who dared to cross the line. The stolen item was no mere trinket, but a rare masterpiece, a jewel in the gallery's crown. Its loss sent shockwaves through the art world, its value not just in millions, but in the irreplaceable piece of history it represented. James felt the weight of this case, the gravity of the loss. He knew the stakes were high and the challenge daunting, but he was ready. He was always ready. Detective James knew this case was far from ordinary. The Winston Gallery was a scene of chaos. The moment Detective James stepped inside, he could feel the palpable tension. The air was thick with anxiety and confusion, a stark contrast to the gallery's usual serene atmosphere. Mr. Winston, the gallery curator, was waiting for him, his face ashen and his demeanor fraught with worry. The curator was a man of refined taste, his life dedicated to art and its preservation. And now, one of his most prized possessions was stolen, a masterpiece worth millions. Mr. Winston's voice was shaky as he narrated the unfortunate events of the night before. There was a break-in, he began. A rare painting, the pride of the gallery, had been stolen. A masterpiece that had been displayed under the highest security. The thief, a figure shrouded in mystery, had managed to disable the security system and vanish with the painting like a ghost. Mr. Winston took James to the security room, where they reviewed the footage from the night before. The grainy video showed a masked figure, moving with a precision that suggested a professional at work. The thief had slipped past the cameras and alarms with an ease that was chilling. James watched the footage, his detective instincts kicking in. The figure was agile, the movements calculated. This was no amateur. This was someone who knew what they were doing someone who had perhaps done this before. As he observed the masked figure, he noted the way they moved, the way they held themselves. Every detail could be a clue. The curator looked at James, his eyes pleading for answers. But James had none to give, not yet. He was just beginning to unravel the enigma of the mysterious thief. And as he watched the figure disappear into the night with the stolen painting, he knew he had a formidable adversary. Observing the thief's movements, James wondered, who was this masked figure? It was a question that would lead him down a path of intrigue and deception, a path where nothing was as it seemed. And the first step on that path was understanding the story of the stolen painting and the man who had lost it. Opening, a good detective knows every detail counts. In the heart of the chaos and confusion, James, our seasoned detective, began to piece together the puzzle of the stolen masterpiece. The gallery's security system, a state-of-the-art fortress in its own right, had been disabled, not by an external hack, but from within the gallery itself. This wasn't a random act of burglary. No, this was a carefully planned operation, a sinister dance choreographed by someone who knew the gallery in and out. James, with his keen eye for detail, started his inquiry. His subjects, the gallery staff, his mission to uncover the truth. Every question was a calculated move, every answer a potential lead. Yet the trail seemed cold. No one appeared to have a motive, let alone the audacity to commit such a daring theft. But James, our relentless detective, knew better than to be deterred by dead ends. He decided to revisit the scene of the crime in hopes of finding any overlooked pieces of the puzzle. And as if rewarded for his tenacity, he stumbled upon a hidden gem, quite literally. There, concealed within the gallery's wall, was a small secret compartment. Inside this compartment, James discovered a pair of gloves and a mask. They were not just any gloves and mask. They were identical to the ones worn by the thief in the security footage. This was no coincidence. This was a deliberate move, a message from the thief. The presence of these items in the gallery, coupled with the fact that the security system had been disabled from the inside, pointed to one chilling conclusion. This was not a random act of burglary. This was an inside job. But who could it be? Who among the gallery staff had the audacity and the cunning to commit such a daring theft? The answers were yet to be revealed. But one thing was certain, 
our Detective James was on the right path. Clo every clue pointed to an inside job. Detective James had an eye for detail and a nose for lies. As he circled back to the gallery staff, he couldn't help but notice Emily's jittery demeanor. This young assistant, usually so composed, was now a bundle of nerves. It was a shift too drastic to ignore. Emily, James began, his voice steady and calm, you seem on edge, care to tell me why? Emily's eyes darted around, and her silence spoke volumes. James could see the fear, but he needed her to verbalize it. He needed her to trust him. Emily, I need your help. I promise, no harm will come to you, he assured her. With a deep breath, Emily began to spill her story. Her words rushed out in a torrent. She was scared, she admitted, not for herself but for her family. Her boyfriend, a man known only as the Phantom, was the notorious art thief who had masterminded this heist. A man as elusive as he was dangerous, the Phantom had coerced Emily into disabling the gallery's security system. He had threatened harm to her family if she didn't comply. Every word that Emily spoke, every confession she made, was like a piece of a jigsaw puzzle falling into place for James. The inside job, the gloves and mask in the hidden compartment, it all made sense now. The thief wasn't some random burglar, it was the Phantom, a ghost in the art world, a name whispered in hushed tones. But as Emily's story unfolded, so did a web of deceit and threats. The Phantom's reign of terror wasn't just about stealing art, it was about manipulation, control, and fear. It was about forcing innocent people like Emily into doing his bidding, irrespective of the cost. The case was starting to unravel, but a bigger surprise was still to come. For in the world of art and deception, things are seldom what they seem. And Detective James was about to discover just how deep this rabbit hole went. Detective James was ready to catch the Phantom. Emily's confession had brought a new angle to the case, and now it was time to lay the trap. James knew that the Phantom was a connoisseur of fine art, and the replica painting would be irresistible bait. He planned meticulously, ensuring every detail was perfect, nothing could be left to chance. With the stage set, they waited patiently. The hours ticked by, each moment stretching the tension thin. And then, just as the clock chimed the midnight hour, there was a stir. A shadowy figure, moving with a cat-like grace, entered the room. It was the Phantom drawn in by the lure of the masterpiece. As he reached out to claim the replica painting, James sprang the trap. The Phantom was caught, his audacious plan crumbling around him. He was behind bars now, but the case wasn't closed yet. In every good mystery, there's always a final twist. Detective James had thought he'd tied up all loose ends, but the case was about to unfurl a startling revelation. The painting, the coveted masterpiece that had been stolen, was nothing but a crafty forgery. The real masterpiece was still out there, hidden from the prying eyes of the world. To unravel the truth, we have to turn our attention towards Mr. Winston, the gallery's curator, a man of prestige, but burdened by a secret. As Detective James delved deeper, he discovered that Mr. Winston had been playing a dangerous game. He'd planned to claim the insurance for the stolen painting, a grand sum indeed. But the plot thickened, the real painting was to be sold on the black market, a double payday if he'd managed to pull it off. But, as they say, the truth always finds a way to surface. With the forgery revealed, the hunt for the original masterpiece was back on. James, with his relentless determination, managed to recover the real painting from its hidden location. A moment of triumph, a masterpiece saved from the clutches of the black market. And what about our elusive art thief, the Phantom? Well, his fate was sealed. Emily's confession and the failed attempt to steal the fake painting were his undoing. The Phantom had been apprehended, his reign of art theft was over. In this labyrinth of deceit and treachery, justice finally emerged victorious. The real masterpiece was recovered, and the notorious Phantom was behind bars. But the shocker was Mr. Winston, a respected figure, now revealed as a schemer. Each case, each mystery, leaves a mark on the detective. This one was no different, it was a reminder that appearances can be deceiving, and that the pursuit of justice often leads down unexpected paths. With the real painting recovered and the phantom behind bars, Detective James once again served justice.